We're waking up this Saturday morning to temperatures in the lower 70s and then later on today we will see our temperatures go up into the 80s and we'll have tomorrow looking like our cooler kind of day. So that will be a little bit of a difference for us as we today make it to the lower and middle 80s and then tomorrow we will be getting eventually a little bit cooler. Live radar showing a couple of showers, temperatures again around 70 degrees and as we zoom out you can see what's happening here with our system. We have seen our front stall a bit to our north, but that will be pressing through as we move into today. Showers and storms associated with that, especially the stronger ones, have moved off to the east, but there is still a chance for some strong storms, especially across parts of Alabama, where you see still a tornado watch ongoing. Now switching it over to our storm reports from the past few days, we have had several of those and I mean by several, I mean a whole lot, extremely numerous reports over the past 24 hours north of our area. Just to give you an idea, these light blue circles in parts of the Arklatex, those are thunderstorm wind damage reports. These little circles also not too far from us in Louisiana into Texas and Arkansas, that's hail. And then when you look at the red dots, that's unfortunately where there were tornado reports from yesterday and you can see where those were clustered, especially around Iowa, around the Chicago area, not far from Chicago and Illinois, also in parts of Tennessee, much of Arkansas and a few reports in extreme northern Alabama as well. The severe risk for today has shifted to the east and it is not as high as yesterday, but it does look like there could still be a few strong storms rolling across Alabama and Georgia and off along parts of the east coast and in the northeast, but a lower risk. And for us, we have not seen that chance for severe weather really make it far south. All the energy with these systems as they roll off to the northeast has stayed to the north of us. Cooler air is out to the north as well. Today, though, not cool just yet. Our high temperature is around 84 expected. We do have a slight chance for a couple of showers early in the day. Overall, a warm, humid day with a mix of sun and clouds. Pretty nice day, actually, for things like hogs for the cause, Easter egg hunts, your plans for this weekend, and really for today, looking good. And then tomorrow looking pretty good as well because that front will push through from the north to south later today making it a little less humid, maybe even for the evening. We could start to feel it and into tonight. North Shore lows tonight about 59, and if you're south of the lake, look for lows in the lower 60s. Here's precision cast through today and notice by about noon 1 p.m. Our model does have a couple of showers. That's why we have that slight chance for rain. Not sure if we're going to see this much rain at that point in the day, but as the front presses south, that's why we do have that slight chance for a few showers today. Shouldn't be a big deal, I think, or a big washout for any of those outdoor events. Now tomorrow, this is through the afternoon. We start to see some clouds increasing and look at this boom into Sunday night and into Monday morning. We get the warmer air back and we are going to be right back into the 80s. Keep in mind for this point in the year in New Orleans, our average high is 75 degrees. Our average low is 58 with the records in the middle 80. So if we do get to 84 today, we won't be too far away from the record high for today's date. Record low 37, not anywhere near that. We can safely say here's our seven day forecast tomorrow. I just kept a very slight chance for a shower, maybe through the afternoon or second part of the day. I think it should be overall a very nice day. Some clouds mixing with some breaks of blue sky and sun. High temperatures again in the 70s. Overall really pleasant end to the weekend. Tomorrow night into Monday with that warm front and a little disturbance in our atmosphere. We'll have a slight chance for a few showers. And then Monday through Wednesday, we're looking quite warm. Rain chances may go up toward the middle and end of next week as a front gets near us and then eventually stalls. So look out for those temperatures continuing, probably lower 80s by Thursday and Friday with a decent chance for a few scattered showers and storms.